Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Bravely Second, the demo. Since last time, I maxed out m the kills for all of the bestiary entries, except the final boss, of course, and I also mastered almost every job class for everyone here, so it took me a little under three hours to get the job done. But I do want to fight one more battle because, well, I want to show you what happens when you do master every job class for every character. So let's see, we've got Jan on Valkyrie, almost mastered there. Every other job class for every character has been mastered already, just not the one there. I like using red mages while I was doing all of that because they have better agility than the wizard job class does, even though the wizard job class is more powerful with the intelligence there. And besides, during random battles, I really don't need to use spellcraft or anything. So, yeah, I figured red mage was the way to go. But yeah, let's fight one more battle here to get that completely maxed out, and then we'll be good to go. What do we got here? Oh, just these guys. Okay. Well, if it's just undead enemies, yeah, just go with Cure on all of them. That should be more than enough to get the job done. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, let's get out of there. And, all right, there we go. Mastered the job class easily enough. And we unlock another reward to carry with us into the main game. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the maximum experience level for the demo is 20. So I can't, like, gain any more experience or anything. Let's see. Yeah, so nothing to next level. That's as good as it gets. So even at max level, it really isn't that overpowering. But I guess they wanted to put some sort of cap on it to prevent that from happening. But, uh, okay, so we got all that ready to go. There's some sort of natural disaster going on outside with some monster. Something's going on. So let's get the party prepared for this. Okay, so with Nikolai, as usual for boss fights, we want to have Astrologian with Prescience ready to go and also Singing for the secondary there. Then, let's see, yeah, support abilities, I'll just keep those the same. With you, I do want to be able to use Spellcraft, so we're going to need a wizard to get the job done there, along with black and white magic. Let's see, same support abilities as usual. Let's see, with Jan, I, want, I actually want him to be the Hawkeye for my party with the rifle there, because he has the best dexterity stat. So let's go down to Hawkeye there with uh, Miscellany Secondary, although I don't think I'll really be using it, but might as well put something there. And for everything else, yeah, same as usual. And let's see, with Magnolia, let's make her back into the Valkyrie job class, but with Shamanism Secondary. Oh, we already got that. Okay, good, good. And everything else there is the same as ever. Okay, so with the Astrologian, it really doesn't matter what weapon I give him, but I'll just put something there. Uh, let's see. For the shield, yeah, let's get that back from you there. Let's see. With everything else, just magic gear or magic attack boosting gear will be sufficient. Let's see, with you, I think I don't need to change anything on you. Let's see, mortar, yep, everything's good there. Let's see, I want to have the Harina Shuma available for you, as well as the Serpentus rifle there. But yeah, we want to have blind resistance coming in. And then, let's see, for Magnolia, let's see, oh, there it is. The spear, why does it give you another good shield? And I think that's everything. 
yeah, that ought to be good to go. Let's uh, rest up here, though, before heading out for one final adventure in the demo. Fortunately, it won't be nearly as difficult as Geist. Holy cow. But, uh, okay. But, yeah, let's uh, get that taken care of. Oh, yeah, and as far as the bestiary is concerned, let's see. Yeah, I completed everything, not just the enemies, but also all of the kills that you need for all of them. So, yeah, that's why it took me so long to get those ready to go. Same thing with the bosses. I don't think I showed Geist, or maybe not, or maybe it was just the second page that I didn't show. I thought I missed something there. But, yeah, if you want to read all that, pause. Ah, there we go. But, yeah, I don't know what he wanted there. But we got him. So, yeah, all that we got left is the final boss there. And by the way, with the chompers to get all of those kills, because they have pretty high defense and magic defense, I just bought a whole bunch of bomb fragments and threw it at them over and over and over again. Seemed the quickest and easiest way to get the job done. Though you could use, like, harpoon or something to bypass their physical defense if you wanted. But, uh, yeah, let's just... Yeah, so that, that's how I took care of those guys. Everything else is pretty straightforward, so let's head on out. Might as well leave the encounter rate off at this point. I've already got all the experience and jobs that I need. Ah, there it is. Yeah, not the one up by Inchime there. See what's going on over here. The wind keeps growing stronger. Is this all because of that monster? I would think the wind crystal would be doing that job. I too am skeptical. A monster so formidable that it can manipulate the very forces of nature? Why not? It'd be on a totally different level than anything we faced before. I'm up for it. Yeah, how hard could it possibly be? <laughs> I can feel it. It's near to us now. Very near. What do you mean? I can see it. Look, there! There's a huge monster inside that sandstorm! Uh, wouldn't be the first time I've seen someone do that in a JRPG. That is no mere monster. It's a ball. And I finally found it! That's... I mean, uh, good that we found it, at least, I guess. A ball? Like one of those round, bouncy ones? I do not think this is the time for idle chatter. Mm. We seem to have caught the eye of this creature. What's the worst that could possibly happen? Her Holiness did tell us not to be reckless, but I'm guessing that's off the table again, huh? Yeah, you've played this JRPG before. What choice do we have? If we give this everything we've got, we should be able to beat this thing. How did I know you'd say that? Let's do it. Let's bust some balls for final boss time. Yeah, kick ass! Unique final boss music. I think this song was actually originally from the from the first game with uh, what is it? Some of those nemeses that you, I could have fought at uh, Narende or whatever was going on with that. There were some some of them were balls like this guy, and they are an insect type enemy. So spears would be particularly useful. Uh-oh. This could be bad, but... Well, I'll see what we can do. So yeah, buff up the party in the first round, and then we'll go all out in the second round here. So let's get one more Mystic Boom on you, then triple love power on the whole party there. 
What else do we got? Okay, so for you, let's go with Fire Hammer on um, this guy. Oh, uh, I meant to do that more than once. So yeah, this guy is weak to light, but you can exploit that with magic. So we'll just go with the most powerful elements that we got with the fire rod there. And then quadruple attack, quadruple attack. That should get the job done as long as no one dies in the process here. But yeah, let's get everyone fully buffed up and then we'll be good to go. Very nice. If we can get some multitask along the way, that would help as well. But yeah, because this guy's an insect type, we deal extra damage with spears. Oh, you might not be needed very much. Ha-ha! Gotcha! But yeah, if you didn't uh, get up to max level or mastered all your job classes, well, this might actually matter. But no, no. That was a pretty easy final boss. The sky, it's it's clearing up. I think we won. Hey! Sure looks that way. I thought he'd put up more of a fight. Not as much as Geist. Holy cow! Jan, I admire your stalwart attitude despite your many wounds. But your knees are about to give out. Well, yeah, he took one for the, or well, two for the team. Did we win? Did we really defeat the ball? Well, that's our job. We did, Magnolia. We won. Then my work is done. What do you mean? Magnolia? What is it? Something the matter? Come on, you. Let's get out of here. I've got sand in places I don't even want to talk about. There's sand in my boots! Oh, right. We should get back to town. How's it going? Magnolia? So, this is where you've been. You? What are you doing here? We work here. Y you seemed a bit down, so I was worried that... Uh, what would you be sad about? If there's something bothering you, I'd be glad to help. Or maybe I'm not reliable enough. Not against ghosts. It's not that. You've already helped me so much, you. Aww. You've all been so good to me. But now I have to get back. Back where? Huh? Get back? We just got to town, didn't we? Yeah. Not to town. To my home. My real home. I wish I didn't have to leave, but I'm out of time. What do you mean? Uh, dude? Magnolia, are you alright? You're looking a bit, uh, well, uh, see-through. Or transparent, or translucent, whatever's going on. I'm afraid we won't remember this journey together. Why not? But even if we do forget, I'm still happy that we met today. Good, good. Wait, Magnolia, I, I don't understand. What are you talking about? This is just the demo. And we'll meet again someday soon. I'm sure of it. So I'll just say, a bien to you. It's been a lot of fun. Oh yeah, well, this is one of the best demos I've ever played, that's for sure. Magnolia, wait! Magnolia! Magnolia. That's... What happened to her anyway? I don't know. Huh? You? What are you doing out here? What do you mean? Uh, Jan? W huh? Wait, w what am I doing out here? Resetting everything to the status quo so it won't impact the main game? Seriously, you. You okay? Did you hit your head somewhere? Something like that. 
I imagine he is just tired, Jan. It has been a rather trying journey. Well, I didn't think we really had a journey. We were kind of in the same place the whole time. Yeah, it has, hasn't it? It's like something really sad happened. You? What have you got that for? Got what? Huh? Is this a flower? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, look at you. So, who's the lucky lady? Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I, um, I don't know. How odd. Why am I... Give me a break, you. Are you actually... What? Dude? Jan, there is something I would like to discuss with you. A moment of your time. Huh? Uh, oh, sure. I'm coming, old man. Well, never mind, then, I guess. Kind of a... What is this feeling? It's like my heart's been ripped out of my chest. I feel so... hollow. Kind of a bittersweet ending. <laughs> And we'll meet again someday soon. I'm sure of it. I don't believe you. Huh? We'll never see her again. Yes, we'll meet again. I'm sure of it. Well, at least we got the... The flower that was like her symbol in the bestiary for... Well, whatever she had to say about the enemies that we fought. Let's watch the credits roll. Or, okay, we don't... We don't really have that. But, uh, oh, right, there we go. So, yeah, a lot of stuff... Uh, well, the, uh, the those cure, curative items that you get can carry over into the main game there. And I suppose you could carry over some stuff with uh, with Fort Loon there, but unfortunately, I've never, ever, ever been able to get anyone into one of my villages in the first game or this game or whatever. No one else plays the game where I live, apparently. Not for lack of trying, but in any case, yeah, we got it. Uh, can... Yeah, there we go. So for, yeah, completing the main game there, you get that. I think that one is for defeating the Baal on a hard difficulty. But uh, yeah, let's save our clear data somewhere. Well, you don't really carry over progress. This isn't like content that would have been in the full game itself. No, this is completely separate. I don't even know if the demo is really canon, although there are a lot of references that seem to indicate that it's canon. But yeah, so we got a clear data file. So let's see what we got. Okay, so with the bestiary there, yeah, we got everything complete, including the final boss. Well, they didn't seem to do a very good job of destroying anything. But, well, it was helpful being an insect-type enemy. Didn't even need Fire Hammer this time around. Way easier than Geist. Holy cow. Yeah, so sometimes the Baal will summon, like, sort of clones of your characters or something. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Not that it really matters. You just kill the guy in one or two rounds and you're good to go. Maybe I didn't need to use that second round to get the job done. Jan almost died there. And by the way, with the bestiary here, uh, let me know if you'd be interested in a bonus episode going through all of the bestiary entries. Not just... Uh, what is it? Yeah, not just the bosses here. I don't think anyone has done that on YouTube, at least. But I wouldn't, like, be doing, like, commentary for every single monster or every 
line of text. That, I mean, yeah, I really wouldn't have anything to add to that. But I could do a little bonus episode with it if you guys are interested. But otherwise, yeah, that's the end of the demo here. I hope you've enjoyed it, viewers. I still need to take quite a bit of time to get the main game going. The main game is just so huge. So, yeah, that's going to take me a little while still to get that going. Oh, and we, uh... Oh, okay, I guess that's for the bestiary completion there. I guess. And a little more items there. But, all right, we defeated the ball. But yeah, what was with that guy? And there were also some Imperials that were hanging around with, like, Amy and Geist. Where are those guys from? Find out in the main game of Let's Play Bravely Second End Lair. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!